In a chemical reaction, a reactant and a reagent combine to form a simple new product and a byproduct. Let's watch this reaction. Magnesium ribbon burns in air to become magnesium oxide. It is a simple combination reaction. Magnesium combines with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Sulfur combines with iron on heating to give iron sulfide. Let us see some more examples of combination reaction. There are different types of chemical reactions. We can classify displacement reactions further into metal, metal displacement and metal, non-metal displacement reactions. We have already discussed the metal, metal displacement reaction with respect to the activity series of metals. Take a solution of copper sulfate in a beaker. Drop an iron nail into this solution. Leave the beaker undisturbed for some time. Iron displaced the copper in the solution, resulting in the formation of iron sulfate. This displaced metal is deposited on the iron nail as copper. The copper sulfate solution turned pale green to indicate the presence of iron sulfate. Different metals have different reactivities with various non-metals, such as oxygen and hydrogen. For example, sodium reacts violently with water, even at room temperature. Hydrogen in water is replaced by magnesium only on heating. Copper does not react with water. Thus, we can predict the non-metal displacement by the order of reactivity. When a single compound breaks up into two or many simpler substances, it is called decomposition reaction. 
When we heat lead nitrate, it becomes lead oxide with the evolution of oxygen gas and brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. Watch this experiment and answer the question. Two compounds react to form different compounds by mutual exchange of ions or atoms in a double displacement reaction. When silver nitrate reacts with potassium chloride, it gives silver chloride and potassium nitrate. Neutralization is also an example of double displacement reaction. Sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to give sodium chloride and water. Combustion of gasoline, burning of wood, and burning of food in our body are examples of oxidation. An oxidation reaction occurs as a result of either the addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen. A reduction reaction occurs by either the removal of oxygen or the addition of hydrogen. Oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously in a reaction. Hence, it is called redox reaction. Zinc oxide undergoes reduction by losing oxygen to become zinc, and carbon undergoes oxidation by gaining oxygen to become carbon monoxide. When a compound is dissociated into simple compounds on heating, this is called thermal dissociation. Hydrogen peroxide dissociates on heating to give water and oxygen in the presence of manganese oxide. Click on the next button after comparing the reversible and irreversible reactions. Thermal decomposition of phosphorus pentachloride into phosphorus trichloride and chlorine is a good example of a reversible reaction. Phosphorus pentachloride dissociates into phosphorus trichloride and chlorine in the forward reaction. Phosphorus trichloride and chlorine combine with each other to become phosphorus pentachloride in the backward reaction. Neutralization between a strong acid and strong base is an irreversible reaction with the evolution of heat.